Welcome back to Elsinore. Last episode, we got to the point where the king was dead, Hamlet plans to, well, hopefully be voted in as the new king, and thanks to the advice of Gertrude, Hamlet is going to try to propose to Brit in an attempt to basically appease the nobility and bring peace to us. A bad thing for him, because they actually love Ophelia, but a good thing for the kingdom. So, that proposal is just about to happen. Let's see if it goes well. If it does go well, I think it's probably going to unlock the ending that is called something like sacrificing, uh, sacrificing independence for peace is probably what it would be. I hope Brit accepts. Brit. Yes. I see. I've seen the light. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. But the time has come to put aside childish things. My father would have wanted me to make this match. No matter what I might desire, the kingdom comes first. That's the sort of king I want to be. You and I both know this is the last thing we desired, and I've no intention of trying to court you or turn your disgust to love. But you, too, understand the chessboard we stand upon. Of course. You need me for my father's support. I know. With your father's men in my army, I will forge a new destiny for this country. Denmark shall become a feared military power, and soon others will join us. So are you ready? To become my bride, that is. <sighs> no. And I shall never be ready. But if this is the way forward, then I must be. Whew! Yes. Well then... We've announcements to make, haven't we? Come, then. Future event in which all hail the future queen. Oh, that's like, right now. In the chapel. My lady. There's to be a betrothal announcement for Lady Britain Prince Hamlet in the chapel, Annan. Right now? Yes. Admittedly, it is rather sudden. Nevertheless, I've come to collect you. It would be inappropriate for you to miss this affair. Let's go. I was almost there. <laughs> Give me like ten more seconds that I would have been there, buddy. My thanks. Without further ado, we've something proud to announce. My son. Prince Hamlet and Lady Brigitte are to be betrothed today. Now may Denmark be all the more strengthened by the union of our throne with one of our greatest noble houses. God, Captain. Bernardo, as the next closest holy man amongst us, if you would do the honors. My lady. Are you certain you don't wish to wait for the castle chaplain to return from his countryside tour? Absolutely certain, Bernardo. I see. Then of course, my lady. I'll do my best. Now then. Let us all bear witness to the betrothal of Prince Hamlet of Denmark and Lady Brigitte of House Brockenhus. Honor, riches, marriage, blessing, long continuance, and increasing hourly joys be still upon you. Scarcity and want shall shun you. Are there any who would provide testimony against this venerable union in the eyes of the law and of God Almighty? <laughs> I've long believed marriage to be a dead institution, but regardless, best wishes. <laughs> Certainly none for me. <laughs> Perhaps marriage will finally settle the boy's wild side. I support such a union. Uh. Excellent. Then, may the Lord bless this union and guide this couple in their path to marriage. May he watch over them these coming weeks and keep their hearts and souls pure of sin. And may we all remain in good health and good fortune to witness that union. Hamlet. They look miserable. I did this to them. I wonder what my brother would think. 
I imagine he'd be suffering now, too. <laughs> All is well. There shall be a wedding in several weeks' time. Oh my god. <laughs> Lady Brit and Hamlet shatter and will not recover. It ruins them for life <laughs> to be married because it's so, so against what they actually want. Uh... What is this? Learn about a future event in which newly betrothed Brit and Hamlet go for a, in quotes, walk. They better not go to the fucking wall and both jump off. I swear to God. That wall is off limits. Under construction. When is it happening? Oh, it's something that would have happened earlier. Impossible event, newly betrothed Britain Hamlet go for a walk. Where would that have been? It, it won't say where it would have been. How could this have happened earlier? I guess... Um... I don't know. How could this have happened earlier? Because the thing that stops you from being able to bring the... to get the marriage between Brit and Hamlet happening soon is that you have to wait until Hamlet and I discuss how he will rule, right? Because Gertrude, sometime between deciding they want to rule and talking about how they want to rule, we have to tell Gertrude to go give him advice. That gives him the advice to marry Lady Brit. But then you still have to wait for the results of that all the way until Saturday night. Is there some way to make this Saturday night event happen sooner? I don't know. I guess I just wait. Um, I'm gonna follow Hamlet. And they immediately go apart, get married, and then goodbye. So, this is the final day. This is Sunday, but... I'm assuming Lord Fortinbras won't come? Because of the marriage? The castle's being stormed again? Why are we in the ground? <laughs> what is this? For those of you who have not made our acquaintance, we are Prince Fortinbras of Norway. Surrender. Now stand down, Denmark. The day is won before you have carried forth. I want to see if this plays out any differently. Stand down. Your father killed our father. Now, young prince, what's yours must return to our hands. But this need not be a bloody coup. No one must die. Surrender peacefully and you'll be permitted to sit the throne. So long, of course, as you swear your undying fealty to ours and to Norway. I... If you had proposed this choice to me not three days prior, I'd have sworn never to serve you. Until my uncle's death, I gave no thought to matters of state, nor to Denmark as a whole. But I've received some dear advice in that time, and it has cleared the cobwebs from my eyes. The prince is right. No one else is going to die today. But you're going to concede? My father and my uncle... Both put their pride above all else. That's not something I'm willing to do. I have no pride. I've been a fool before the court until now. You've all seen me in my worst, darkest moments. Now it's time to turn that weakness of mine into a strength for this country. Can you ensure there will be peace if we give our surrender? Of course. We desire only that you rule under our judgment. I see. And what of the people who currently live under your judgment? Are they happy? Are their lives improved by your rule? Yes. Our uncle currently sits at the throne of Norway. As with your uncle, we presume he is not long for this world. Not for any lack of love we bear him, 
but because he is old. He wanders the halls recognizing no one, and his body is feeble. But the people of Norway have full tables each night, fertile fields in summer, and warm shelter in winter. We do not abandon our sick, our poor, and our old. We care for them. All the spoils of war flow through me to the people themselves. It is only by their will that I and my family rule. So we do not desire their fear, but rather their continued wealth, and thereby their happiness. Your Highness. Then I grant Denmark to you. <laughs> you make the right decision. All that remains is to handle the details, and to properly cement this union in conjugal arrangement. You mean marriage? Of course. I understand you and Lady Brigitte have made such an arrangement already. Her father has been loyal to us for some time. Her house is entwined with those good noble families of Norway like vines grown long together. Her father assisted us heavily with our invasion of Denmark, desiring your uncle's downfall. As a reward for that loyalty, your betrothal to her will stay intact. And let us make the necessary arrangements. And let all here bear witness to what has transpired today to the union of our nations. A sight like this befits the battlefield, but here shows much amiss. Out of respect for all this land has suffered. Go. Bid the soldiers shoot. Hmm. It's the strangest thing. Ever since my uncle died, I've been in a blind panic, my mind racing. All these ways I might fail as a king, all these pressures and fears were closing in on me. I imagined a thousand scenarios, and I started to run myself through preparing for each of them. I... But never did I imagine this. I am what will you do now? Lord Fortinbras. Has given me the chance to serve my country. I intend to do all the things my father and uncle could not, for the sake of their pride. Even if that means we no longer have a nation? Please. We do have a nation, Ophelia. It's merely under Norway's control. If our people are happy, what difference does the color of our flag make? Today, I want to begin something new. Fordenbra will return soon to make the word official. I sense this world is ending. Yes, that was the sacrifice independence for peace ending. Fordenbra will make Hamlet into a beautiful puppet king. All of us will dance at Norway's behest. But if it means we all live on, that might be worth the price. I was just trying some things off camera, trying to find a lead before I resume what you see in the episode. And while passing time, this just suddenly appeared. I didn't do anything other than pass time. Quince, you are persistent, aren't you? Look at you, zipping between worlds. You've seen so many outcomes, so many possibilities. And yet, you've elected to choose none of them. Your indecisiveness is... Mm, impressive. Huh. Lord, what fools these mortals be. Quince. Need I tell you to go away once more? How rude. I come bearing a gift. Something to, uh, change up the game, so to speak. You've already witnessed a small amount of the power the Book of Fates can bestow. Wouldn't you like to try something new? To see things from my point of view? What? what? Fun. I'll give you a little phrase you can say to harness the book's power and alter the story. Ugh. What's the catch? None at all. None at all. Hmm. Yeah, no catch. No catch, just like how if we pick any of the options to uh, change what happens during Quince's play, it leads to somebody killing themselves, or in our case, people taking us away to an asylum. Definitely no catch there. Save that you'll know what using that power feels like. And I think you'll find that once you've tried your hand at it, Going back will be very, very difficult. 
If you use it too much, some might even say it's impossible to return to the way things were. But of course you'll know when you've reached that point. We both will. Hmm. If the clock strikes midnight on Friday evening and you've used this power on everyone, we'll speak further. Huh. You'll be a very different girl then, I suspect. Hmm. Why would I want to do something so dangerous that Quince has suggested? I think I can pretty safely say anything Quince suggests is not something I want to do. My interests lie in a different direction than Quince's. Okay. I learned... What does it say? Does it have a description for what this is? Exunt all. Please leave the stage immediately. If I use it too much, things might change permanently. That sounds bad. They said specifically, if you use this power on everyone, by Friday, we'll speak further. By the sounds of it, leave the stage. It sounds like it's going to make them just like disappear. I don't think I want to use that. Maybe I have to, though. Maybe that's the only way I can get some of these endings. If this allows me to essentially... Maybe it allows me to essentially kill anybody I want whenever I want. If they just leave the stage anytime I say that phrase to them. That would give me immense power. Hmm... That would allow me to solve the Gertrude problem. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I should try it at least once, right? Just at least to be sure of what it does. I'll try it on somebody shitty. Like, I don't know, Claudius? Just unsuccessfully tried some things out. So I didn't use the power on the king right away. I just let that loop finish. Now we're at the beginning of the loop again. Now let's try it on the king. Exit Claudius. Do. <gasps> that was me? I did that? Uh. Quince tricked me again. This isn't a gift. This is something horrifying. I shouldn't use this. I should just reset the world and leave. I can't stay here. I'm not a killer. I'm not like not him. Like him. Acquire the information you ought to fear me. Now then. Everyone, please, your swift attention is required. I'll be brief. One of my men has located a corpse. It, it was in a rather horrifying state, mangled beyond belief, almost as if by a wild animal, but without a wound. Those of us who can are investigating further. Please stay alert. Remain in groups. Do not go anywhere alone. Elsinore is locked down until further notice. I... This is wrong. I've changed the world to create deaths in the past, sometimes even deaths of people I loved. But it wasn't like this. That was horrific. Ah. Enjoying your new tool? No. Not at all. This tool is cursed. Take it from me. Uh, uh, uh. I thought this might happen. Indeed, I expected it. Uh, but you're mistaken. You see, there's no such thing as a cursed tool. Not really. A stone can be used to build a home or bludgeon a skull. The stone has no intention either way. <sighs> Regardless, this is wrong. What I'm doing. Why am I listening to you anymore? <laughs> Why indeed? Why indeed? So 
acquired more information. That's not another lead. More hearsay? Yeah, it's hearsay. You ought to fear me. Yes, I'm the murderer. I can kill you with a word, and I won't hesitate. So that's using our power to make people afraid rather than actually using it directly. That's interesting, but I don't know how people are going to react to that. What's that going to do? Who can I tell that to? Anybody? I guess I'll try it on another loop. Why is Quinn's in the graveyard? I don't... There are armed guards outside. I don't think they'll take kindly to my trying to leave. Oh, right. They're under lockdown. That's quite strange that they're out there. Where are they going? Just hanging out there. So I just can't go there. Oh no, now they're here. Why am I talking to them, you say? Because I have to try this on them, right? Exit Quince. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad plan. Alas, I am no pawn and cannot be removed from play. Invalid move. But I can hardly fault you. That's the first thing I would have tried myself. Yeah, I didn't think it'd work. What about you ought to fear me? Oh, that's not to threaten them, but just talk about it. Why? Why did you give me this? Why did you do this to me? Their fates are in your hands. Don't forget, if you kill them all by midnight on Friday evening, you'll win a special prize. <laughs> Fuck that. And you do seem to like prizes, don't you? Hell no. Hmm. Okay, I've tried with Lady Brit and with Guildenstern. With neither of them, can I use the you ought to fear me thing? Oh, yes, I'm the murderer. I can kill you with a word and I won't hesitate. This information isn't true right now. Oh, I need to kill someone first and then I can maybe use it? Interesting. I guess. Do I want to do that? No? Alright, I've kind of run out of good ideas, so I'm going to try a bad idea. There's three endings that I still haven't discovered. There's two leads that I don't really know how to continue. Except the bad idea is going to possibly continue the Claudius Coming Undone quest. I think if Claudius comes undone sooner, that I might be able to finish this lead. And the only way I can think of to make it happen sooner is if I kill Gertrude. So... Sorry. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they return in the next world, this is wrong. I know. So does this mean that now I can oh, tell man. people that I'm the murderer? That could be... That could be interesting. I was just passing time waiting for the king, King Claudius, to do something, like go to the chapel so I can start the whole thing where they ask me to be with them. But so far, the king has just stayed in their chambers for over a full day, like a day and a half or something. Anyway, I was just passing time, waiting for them to come out, and then Quince now says, ding dong, time's up. <sighs> and you were only beginning to make your moves. Do remember the challenge was to ensure that everyone met an early demise. That includes, includes Claudius, Hamlet, Gertrude, Bernardo, Polonius, Laertes, Marcellus, Irma, Horatio, Rosencrantz, and Guildenstern. Better luck next time. Do congratulate you on the attempt and wish you the best of luck in the next world over. I wasn't trying to do that. Fuck off. They've all gone unbroken, I'm afraid. No use to anyone now. They'll simply cower until their hearts give out. I'm returning to the beginning now. This world's no good to me any anymore. Oh, I see. They're all so afraid. That's why they were just staying in their chambers. Back at the beginning again. Uh. What? Oh, they all are going to cower in their chambers. So the... That's actually a puzzle. 
It's actually a puzzle to figure out how you can possibly kill everyone. Huh. You have to do it in the right order and fast enough, I think, to be able to kill everyone or somebody will be locked in their chambers and not come out or be stuck outside where you're not allowed. Devious. It's reached the point where I don't know what to do for the last two leads or for the remaining three endings. So I'm just going to revert to looking up hints, trying not to completely spoil things if I think I can maybe figure it out with just a hint. First one I'm going to do is the ending Sacrifice Prestige for Family. For that one, I had no idea based on the hint how to solve it, so I just looked at the full solution. The full solution is actually quite short. It says to simply have Laertes stay and have Brit arrested, which you can do with the same action. Just tell Laertes that Brit is the spy and then they'll stay, talk to Brit, and have them arrested. And the second thing to do is have Quince put on the play where Polonius feels like no one respects them and their life here has been a waste. We've done both of these things before separately, but the key seems to be doing them together. So if you have Brit get arrested and Laertes stays here, then, well, because they loved Brit, they suddenly feel like they've been horribly betrayed, because they have been. I mean, <laughs> Brit was originally going to kill us, Laertes' sister. So they feel awful. They feel like they never want to come back to Elsinore, but that doesn't seem to go anywhere on its own. And we know that if we just do this thing where a father feels like they're useless, then they end up killing themselves. But I think if you put them both together, they end up leaving. So here's the play starting. We'll see when things start to diverge. Okay, now things are starting to diverge. So immediately after the play, Polonius went to the wall and was rethinking their whole life. But right after that, this I think is new. Ophelia, we have matters we must discuss as a family. I've had a moment in which to reflect upon all that's occurred lately, and it has removed some of the doubt from my heart. That performance I saw, it was unlike anything I'd ever witnessed. To have your worst fears about yourself echoed back at you as truth. It was a mockery, insult in the highest form. Much as it pains me to believe this, my use to this dynasty has come to a close, I think. Now, of course, I regret that I invested everything we had into King Hamlet's war. We still own a little land and a single estate. It's old, but sufficient, and the three of us will be together there. Perhaps we can make some new life for ourselves, though much of our current comfort will be lost. Yes, when I called our first meeting, I was hoping your heart would change, Father. I'm merely sorry it happened in such a strange and cruel way. As am I. But at least it has made the decision a simple one. Ophelia? What do you say? Flee Elsinore with my family. Yes! Let's go. I think you're both correct. Let's leave together. We'll be happier on our own. I know it. Even if this world only lasts a short while. So be it. Necessary preparations ought to be made. Uh, but of course, there is little use in me making them, as I owe the court nothing further. Yes. Let us gather our belongings, Father. I'll have Ronaldo staff a carriage. My love. All the necessary preparations have been made. The carriage is loaded outside the walls. Are you prepared? Uh. As well as I can be, Father. Mm. Something has become alarmingly clear in these last few hours. Elsinore is no longer our home. And so we shall go and forge a new home. The three of us. We may lack the deep coffers and guards and gardens, but I have the two of you, and that's all I've ever needed. <laughs> that's wealth enough for me, I think. Yes. The three of us together. 
And to think how subtly things can change. There are things we leave behind, certainly. But it's time to replace those things with a world of our own creation. Let's go. Father? Ophelia? I'm ready. My family and I could leave Elsinore behind forever. We are utterly without land, coffers, or a way to get by, but at least we'd have each other. <laughs>